Welcome to another amazing video of hot news from the Kansas City Chiefs. Dear fans, show your support right now. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Comment below right now. Go Kansas City Chiefs! Even after signing Marquise Hollywood Brown as a free agent and drafting Xavier Worthy in the first round of the NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs appear to still be interested in adding another weapon at wide receiver. As KC reportedly plans for a lengthy suspension for Rassie Rice, an NFL insider noted that the Chiefs were in the mix for wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr., a free agent, before he signed with the Miami Dolphins on Friday. ESPN's Jeremy Fowler detailed the process of Beckham landing in Miami on NFL Live, naming the Chiefs as a previously interested party. Well, Miami has been talking to Odell Beckham for weeks, Fowler said. They've been trying to secure this deal. The incentive package helped get them over the top this week, but I'm told Odell is really intrigued by the chance to produce with Mike McDaniel. The ball coming out of Baltimore under 600 yards, he still has a lot to prove. And talking to people around the league, they believe if Beckham would accept being an inside receiver like a slot receiver, he could make a killing in this offense. I was told Kansas City, who was appealing to Beckham in the process, Buffalo as well, but Miami sold him. They were the most persistent throughout the process to get this done. Fowler expanded on Beckham's process and the Chiefs' interest during an appearance on SportsCenter. As quoted by Bleacher Report, Odell Beckham is betting big on Mike McDaniel to unlock him, Fowler said according to BR. He wants to produce and still wants to be the primary target. He feels like the Dolphins can help him get there. Now, they had a positive package of just over $8 million, so they got to an ideal spot there in the negotiation. There were some other teams in the mix. I was told Kansas City was appealing to Odell Beckham, Buffalo as well, but ultimately, he believes this offense can still help him prove something. Less than 600 yards last year in Baltimore probably wasn't the way he wanted. So, he'll be the third option, of course, behind Jalen Waddell and Tyreek Hill, but he feels there are enough footballs to go around. Ari Merv reported that Beckham's contract is for one year worth $3 million, which could reach $8.25 million with incentives. With Rice's likely suspension coinciding with Brown's first year with the Chiefs, Worthy's rookie year in the NFL, and Travis Kelsey's 35th season, the Chiefs are wise to seek other options for pass catching. The team also has more salary cap space than usual at this time of year, which could be used on a veteran wide receiver target, although the available WR list continues to shrink. DJ Chark signed with the Los Angeles Chargers, and Tyler Boyd was linked to the Tennessee Titans. Zay Jones, Michael Thomas, and former Chief Marquez Valdez-Scantling are still available. Beckham would have been the most intriguing addition from that group, but the Chiefs should still be looking for another contributor to avoid relying on players like Justin Watson, Kadarius Toney, Sky Moore, or Justin Ross for significant roles in 2024. Now, I want to hear your opinion because it's important for my work. Tell me down in the comments what you think of today's news and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates.